Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Full Guys. I'm back. I'm not completely fixed yet. Not completely uh, back to the land of health. But I'm, I'm doing better. Thank you for all the kind comments in the last video. It was really nice to see that from everyone. Brilliant. Anyway, let's get straight back into the Full Guys action. And this is the first of the footage I've actually recorded whilst having the, the dreadful thing. <laughs> oh dear. So... We've got the Stadium Stars event right now, and my plan for this was to try and get an all-gold run in it. Yeah, right? So as you can see, it didn't really work the first time there. So for the first few, I'm really just practicing, because weirdly, I've not played these levels for a while. Although we had this just last season, as soon as the new season came out, Season 2, a few weeks back, all of these levels were removed from the game, but now we've gotten back. So I'm actually a bit rusty, a bit out of practice with them. As you can see, oh dear, just not even able to get through a ring, but don't you worry. This is going to be one of the classic episodes of progression. Sometimes you just got to spend a bit of time getting good at something. You don't, you don't just start out being good at everything, you know. Some of you think I'm pretty good at this game. <laughs> I've got over a thousand hours played in this game. <laughs> But on the plus side, at least I have more crowns than I do hours. That's always nice, isn't it? So, this first run, or these first few runs, are pretty much just a... Just a, uh... Practice. A kind of a refresher on the levels. I'm doing terribly here. But as you can also tell, this is um, all gameplay recorded whilst I was quite ill as well, so... It's not the best. But trust me, it gets a whole lot better. This is two days worth of footage here. So let's see if I can uh, get a little bit better as we go on. And hunt down that elusive full gold round. So our first final here is Blast Ball. Not much ever really happens at the beginning of these, so I'll speed it on. There we go. Down to just three players remaining. Lots of balls getting hurled. As is tradition in this final. I, uh, my tips for Blast Ball is basically don't really do anything much near the beginning and, uh, stay away from bombs and hope that other people will make mistakes like that. And if you get lucky enough, you'll be so intimidating as a little blue, uh, a little pink bean that your enemies will just walk off the map. Beautiful. And I finally unlocked the, uh, the Miku Dance victory pose thing. Love it. It's actually great. I think I'm going to keep it for a while. Also, we've got a bunch of extras at the moment because uh, there's a lot of bonus rewards, like extra crown shards and things. It's great. Anyway, once again, you can see I did not get first place in the first round. These race levels from this season are actually really difficult to get first place. And if you want first place, you pretty much have to uh, make sure you don't get bumped off of any part of the map by other players. And you have to get all your speed boosts. You have to do really well. It's uh, quite a challenge, actually. So although these rounds are usually only four levels, it can be pretty difficult to get a full gold. And once again, <laughs> the people I was against just kind of... They just kind of fell off the map. Oh well, it's another win. I'll take it. Let's go into the next round and see if I can get first place finally. Whoa, bumping into the level. See, I was first place here, but then got taken over, overtaken even, by that bean bot there. And it threw me right off. I'm just not, not that good at these levels at the moment. But don't you worry. Keep watching, please. Also, I'm going to ask earlier on, earlier on in the video now for a, if, if you like these videos, please like it. If you want to see me do really well, like I do. Which is why I'm asking. Like the video. It will make so many more people have to watch it. Trust me. YouTube sees people liking the video and they're like, Right, we're going to force this into so many people's recommended pages. We're going to force this person to get loads of views. How dare they. <laughs> That's how it works. It is totally a popularity contest. But here we go. We're into the first hexa ring of the video. And at this point, after doing those blast balls, I didn't even realize that Hexa Ring was actually in this event as well. And I'm very pleased with that. Although blast ball is great fun, I'm honestly not very good at it. 
<laughs> I only seem to win by other people making mistakes. I don't generally do that well at it. But Hexaring. Hexaring, I'm a pretty decent skill level at, I'd say. It took me a while to get used to how to play it. But uh, there's definitely, definitely a feel for when to jump and stuff. And how to save yourself if you make little mistakes. But uh, it's definitely grown on me as a final this one. When it first came out, I wasn't completely sure, but now I think it's unique enough and fun enough to be a, a truly great final. So it's just me and the wolf here. There's not much of the map left, so they fall into the slime. So that's a victory for Miku. Am I going to keep showing the whole of these victory poses? No, but I've got to do it for this one, surely. It's, it's the Miku skin. Alright, next round. Can I finally get first place? No. <laughs> and I also dive too early. This is all a practice, to try and figure out how to get first place. I'm saying how early I can dive. That was definitely too early, so I narrowly qualify. Okay, we next get bounce party again. I've got one ring to go! And finally, I get first place in the level. Bounce party, again, one that I was not very good in for a while. But now, I'm really quite good at it. Spoiler alert, but there's a, a very, very fast bounce party coming up later in this episode. So fast, in fact, that I believe it was a world record time for at least a whole hour. <laughs> yep. I posted that on Twitter, and uh, then someone beat it like an hour later. Look at this gold bean trying to grab me. Now, I played this to my advantage by dragging them across the map. I could tell they wanted to grab me, so I just basically ran away from them and let them make a mistake. Sometimes that's all you gotta do. Another victory, but sadly not a full gold run. Not even close. Just a two gold run. Okay, what are we getting next? Once again, not a first place, but you gotta check out the skin. It's awesome. Can it be a first place on this level? No. It's tough. It really is. And it's not even a first place on Bounce Party. Not going so well, that one. And then we get a Blast Ball once again. Blasting my balls all over the place to try and get another victory. And this one... Just wait for it. Just wait for it. Trust me, this is good. This is good. Watch this. Oh yeah! They were so busy trying to defeat each other that I just knocked them both off the edge with one ball. You just you just can't make it up. <laughs> Fantastic. And that also gave me something cool in the crown ranks. I finally unlocked the number one banner. Love it. This thing looks so cool. So I did something. I did two things actually. First of all, you'll notice there's a timer on screen. That's because this is a rapid time at this level. And it almost went completely wrong at the first hoop. Watch this. I bounce off the hoop, but luckily I get it the second time. But the other thing I did was I actually made a skin to match the colours of that new nameplate I got. Name tag thing. Because I'm I've been really looking forward to getting this one. It's one of my favourites. It's one of the few that has like a proper just colour scheme. Ready? Ready? Wait for this? How quick is that? such a quick bounce party. And that was the clip I put on Twitter. Uh, if you do want to follow me on Twitter as well, I'm just going to advertise myself. And then I fell on the slime. It's just Twitter, octagonal pool. I should probably put that in the link or something. If I can get some more followers, maybe I can get Mediatonic's attention. But look, then we get first place. We finally get first place on the race round. <gasps> and then the next race round, we get first place again. Oh my god, it's happening. No, it isn't. No, it isn't, Paul. You're getting ahead of yourself. What a shame. What a terrible shame. But here we go. I'm going to show you the whole thing, because this is the run. I could pretend not to know, but I obviously know. So get hyped and see how it's done. This is the full gold run in Stadium Stars. Will it have no mistakes? Ooh, how good do you think I am? <laughs> but the practice was paying off. Oh, well, there's the first mistake. First mistake, those things. I hate them. They're so difficult to avoid. But, we're still doing okay. There's there's a bean in front of us. There's a purple Amogus looking guy somewhere. They're way ahead. So my only hope is for them to make 
a colossal, a ball-busting mistake. And they've done it. So I managed to overtake them right here, slow myself down just for a second. They're still in front, but then they hit the hammer. So I know I can get that first place as long as I make no further mistakes. <gasps> oh, narrowly avoiding the bollards. And there we go. A gold medal in the first round. Next up we get the Swiveller. Interesting. The thing is though, with this one, all you have to do is survive and you get a gold medal. That's it. And people get knocked out of this one very quickly, as you can tell from me in the last round. It's a painful level. It's technically easy, but also very difficult. <laughs> in the same sentence. It's uh, just a real challenge, especially if it starts going longer and longer when you're waiting for someone to get knocked out. Sometimes you just gotta grab them yourself, but sometimes you don't. So after that temporary world record run, I'm feeling pretty confident that I can get first place again in Bounce Party. So we're bouncing away here with my colour matched outfit. Me just imagining how cool it's gonna look in the victory screen. Playing it very careful, going for the high scoring, well, <laughs> two point scoring orange rings. They're not gold. They're sort of yellow, but they're also sort of orange. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. You'll have to excuse me. I've not done much for the last few days being ill, and I've watched too many mystery videos on YouTube. <laughs> so I've, I've lost my mind a little bit. I've also played quite a bit of Fall Guys, as you can see from this footage. And if I can still get a full gold run whilst feeling like this, maybe I am a good player. What's the final going to be? It's Hexa Ring, which... Uh, is much preferred to me for an all gold run potential run yeah so I'm doing my classic strategy of trying to eat away a bunch of tiles in the middle and then after we spin around a few times go into the side where I know I haven't eaten much away the trouble is then you can end up stuck on one side without much platform so I decided to try and take away what middle I can whilst it's there and now there's only one other player in me remaining but they're made of flowers how good can a... are they? Need to check. Yes, they are made of flowers. They're made of flowers. Does that mean they can beat me? Flowers? Pretty overpowered in the grand scheme of things. But they're, they're hanging back. They're not over the front of the cylinder like they should be. Basically, if you're not over the front and you make a single mistake, you're out. Where are they? Where have they gone? They must have made a little mistake and slipped right off. And there it is. The beautiful, the infamous, the colour matched outfit for a full gold round. Doesn't it look great? Yeah, pretty proud of that one. Let's see that victory. So again, there's all the free crown shards and uh, extra fame being dished out at the moment. Absolutely love it. It's almost like double crowns at the moment. And there's the four golds. Oh no, it's not as impressive as uh, the shows where you have five or more. But that meant I just had to do it again, right? Let's do eight golds in a row. That'd be fine, wouldn't it? Yeah. Let's see how it goes. So next round here, we got a bit of Blast Ball. Now keep an eye on that alien. You see that orange alien? With the big eyes and the yellow hat? <laughs> yeah. They really had it out for me here, from the beginning. Throwing balls at me coming to grab me. I don't know what I did to them. I did nothing to them in the previous rounds, although I forgot to record the previous rounds. Don't worry, you'll still get to see that it's a full gold round. You'll still see. I'm keeping the rest of this in because this is one of the greatest games of Blast Ball I have ever had. It's such a good battle between me and this alien guy. They just do not stop throwing balls at me. So, I treat them exactly the same. If you're going to target me, I'm totally going to go out of my way <laughs> to make this fun for me and not you. That's that's what you've asked for here, Mr. Alien. Or Mrs. Alien. Or whatever you want to be, Alien. You're an alien. That's alien enough in itself. But they're still living. Can we take out the other person? Soon. Soon we can. Or maybe they'll take out themselves. And they're gone. So now, it's the ultimate battle. It's the finale you've all been waiting for. 
This thing is tense. I'm keeping all of this in. So we give up on the balls. <laughs> and we decide to just keep grabbing and pushing each other. Will it work? Can I push them into this falling platform? I lean towards one side, hoping that I can get enough of an angle to just drop their feet over the edge and into the slime. But nothing's happening. Will they give up? Well, I give up first. They give up first, but they don't get launched. The next... It's another ball. It misses. We both try and be as unpredictable as possible. Bobbing and weaving, changing direction, trying to throw a ball. Neither of us can hit our target. Which way will we go? There are only three platforms left in the game. And only a few balls. Got to admire the bravery of the alien there going for a ball on a falling platform. But there's only one way this can end. By dropping you in the slime. What an absolute tussle this round was, but in the end... Alien got dunked. Sorry buddy. That was an absolute hell of a final. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did playing it. And again, you might not have noticed until now, but a color matched outfit to the name tag. I really love that aesthetic. I mean, I make all my own thumbnails and stuff. And I just love making costumes. And I've never tried making one that matches the name tag before. But this one's so cool, it had to be done. Anyway, that's another full gold round. So how's that for you? Eight gold medals? I'm pretty pleased with that. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope I'm going to be back to 100% feeling soon. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. Have a good day. Goodbye.